attempt please give yourself that time because when you walk into an office that you're going to attempt uh, you never know what you're going to walk into it's like pandora's box <laughs> literally so i think somebody Everything trying else? to set me up i believe that Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Omari Bryant and we are back for another vlog. So I know y'all like, hold on. Number one, where you been at, bruh? And number two, not you back in dentistry. Yes. Woo child, let me tell you. <laughs> so I am. So guys, I am super excited to go ahead and say that I have decided to give dentistry another try. Um we 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 giving it a try, okay? Wait a damn minute. We are giving it a try. I'm super, super excited to be in the position that I am right now in because not only do I have the flexibility to work in dentistry as often as I'd like, but I also have the flexibility to still run my business. I can still go ahead and um, do barbering. I can still, like, it's just, it's amazing, right? So, I'll, yes, guys, I got my hair done. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, T. T, you have saved me because I was looking crazy, okay? Your boy was looking like somebody didn't love him at this point. And I was, I had to get my hair done. I really, really did. So, Ooh, the ghetto. <laughs> but guys, I am back in dentistry um, and I'm only doing it three days a week only three days a week guys uh so i found this job through this wonderful app called tempt me i'm gonna go ahead and put some information on the screen if you are just coming across my channel now and you are interested into getting in some more dental content stuff like that welcome to the channel welcome 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 for all of my family members yes guys you guys know that i have a dental background but i haven't really shown you guys too much about it i have talked about it in the past but i haven't shown you guys about it so i really really hope you guys enjoy that montage of seeing that and um um, yeah, so Tempt Me is is has been amazing. Tempt Me is giving me the opportunity to not only have the flexibility of working as often as I would like and still do what I love to do, but do it in a way that it's it's financially it makes sense, and I'm happy about that. So not only did i go ahead and and start on tent me and and find and found this office and they're super super cool one doctor one hygienist super small staff like right up my alley right been doing it for a few weeks now love it so definitely recommend tempt me download it they're not sponsoring today's video or anything like that but definitely go ahead and check them out um for tempt me so 
guys so for this week i am gonna go ahead and show you guys what it's like for me to work so i hope you guys enjoy it um right now i'm currently um sitting in the car and i'm about to hop online in a little bit and do some lift i need to stop and get some gas um <clears throat> so y'all hold on hold up the phone i haven't even told y'all yet they, they they got me in a german i got a german now i, I I'm, I'm in a whole volkswagen jetta I'm in a whole German, so I'm I'm, I'm excited about that. Like I, y'all already know if if y'all OGs, y'all know I had a BMW, loved my BMW, and it was so so sad the way how she 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 had to go. But this kind of reminds me so much of her, and and I'm I'm very excited and happy to have something that I enjoy to rent because most of the time the cars are like eh, whatever it's a car to rent so we're about to hop online in a little bit and then um, I'm gonna do some lift for a little bit and then it's time to bring our butt home and and and, and that that's essentially been my routine for the past um, so many weeks guys that I, I know that y'all have not seen me and y'all been like bro where you at I've just been I've just been grinding and I've been working guys so that's that's honestly what I've been doing um, because we are are working our behinds off to to get our apartment i've never would have thought in life that it would have taken this long for me to get a place um and especially as hard as i work but you know that is the reality of our economy right now and one of part of the reason i don't like living in the states but anyways as i digress i missed you guys so so much i am so happy that I will have the opportunity to be able to make more content for you guys soon. I'll be able to upload more frequently. Um, now, just to kind of give you guys like a semi little life update as of Ooh, child, let me tell you <laughs> right now, I've just honestly been working around the clock. Now I do have some, um, some new good, exciting news. I am going to start my fitness journey soon. So your boy is going to look into some Pilates. So I have been watching Taja for juice for a long time and she has been, um, showing off her, you know, her fitness journey on and off kind of like in and out of the gym, stuff like that. But it seems like Pilates has really gotten her bought in. And that is something that I would like to do. I know how to go to the gym and work out and such or whatever, but I feel like I need just a little bit more structure so I am gonna go ahead and and try out Pilates I've already called yes guys I've already called and I've asked questions so they have a actual class that I can take for Pilates um, one class it's 30 minutes that you'll take and then they have like different package deals so your boy is gonna start and tread lightly with this I'm gonna do it um, maybe about once or twice a week to start and then I'm gonna try to you know incorporate some fitness changes and stuff like that especially my diet like yo my diet has been terrible like just being honest it's been absolutely atrocious we need to change that so we're gonna work on our diet we're gonna do all those wonderful different things and and all that fun stuff but guys I am just just super super excited to to finally like have a, like a woosa moment you know what I mean like that that good old woosa of just just things are just gonna get better and I and I know that it's getting there I've been working 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 my butt off okay so anyways guys i just wanted to hop on and introduce the vlog talk to you guys a little bit uh and then we will go ahead and proceed into this week so i am only going to show the office that i am working at this um like my actual main office because they know i do youtube and they're they're cool with me vlogging i'm not sure about these temp offices i may go to and i never know what i'm going to walk into and if you are in the dental field you already know exactly what i mean by that so we will be um, doing dental monday wednesday and friday this week those are the days that I'm going to be vlogging in this video, stuff like that, just so you guys know. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, and um, I'm currently in the line in the drive through at Starbucks. So we're getting our bucks this morning, and we're going to head to the office. Uh, focus, focus, focus. Is that better? Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry about the lighting, guys. So we are headed um, to the office right after I put in my order here. I don't even know exactly what I want yet, but I think I'm just gonna just go with it, okay? Hey, um, good morning. May I have a grande-sized um, pink drink? And then can I add a scoop of matcha in there? So this new office um, 
that I'm at, I, I love the flexibility. It is the only difference that I don't like, guys. It is it is a little bit of a distance from from where I'm staying right now. But the cool thing about it is is that um, I can still get up and do lifts. So I got up and did some lift this morning. Uh, I started pretty pretty late today, so I only did like three trips, and now I'm headed to um, to the office. So. I'm going to grab my Starbucks. I'm going to head to the office. I'm going to be there just a little bit early, which is fine. Um, and then we'll go in at 730. And what I want to show you guys today is a little bit of like routine setup as far as like getting your rooms ready, stuff like that. What do DAs do? And also like things that you should look out for as a temp dental assistant or hygienist as well. Okay. Hello, good, good morning, Adam. How are you? Doing all right, you know. Uh -huh. Just walked in, honestly. So <laughs> we're, we're, we're gonna see how the rest of the day goes. All right. right. Uh, do you need a straw today, then? Not all set. All right. So much. Thank you, man. All right. You too. Okay, Adam was nice. It was really nice of them. I am going to unfortunately frequent this Starbucks a lot more often than probably I should. <laughs> but here guys, this is the drink. Um, this is a pink drink with a scoop of matcha, um, matcha powder in there. So definitely go ahead and try it out. You get the sweetness. Also you get that little bit of, a, of, of the healthiness along with it, but it doesn't overpower the drink, which I do enjoy. Um, so definitely go ahead and try it out. I'm gonna head over to the office, uh, and as soon as I get there, I will pick up back with you guys, and we'll go ahead and get started with our day, and I'm gonna let you guys know, like, a little rundown, little things that you should look for um, as a temp, either DA or a hygiene, okay? Hygienist, rather, I should say. All right, I'll be right back. Time you arrive to an office that you're temping at or an office that you're going to this for the first time, whatever it is, just always make sure you check in or reach out to someone, speak to someone when you arrive, obviously, just to let them know that you're here. So you would come in, that's Jasmine. She works up front and she's also um, in training to be a dental assistant as well. I'm gonna help her on that journey so she's excited. So you just check in and most of the time they'll like say, okay, go to the back or put you with someone and then you would go ahead and be shown to like your designated area of work. So in our office here, we have um, two doctor rooms here. Like I showed you guys in the montage the other day. Uh, and then we have two hygiene rooms as well. <clears throat> so the, this office is fairly up to date. It's newer. Uh, as soon as I can find the light switch. Okay. Yeah, so it's fairly up to date. It's newer. We have um, an iTero scanner. Those of you guys that don't know what that is, you're like, what the heck is an iTero? I'm going to show you guys in just a second. This wonderful machine here is an iTero, um, and it takes images for Crown and Bridge, um, impressions, so on and so on and so on. And you can use it to have dentures made, crowns, etc., all that fun stuff. So, <clears throat> yeah, pretty much you come in, I come in, I uh, get all the lights on, get everything going, and then the next thing that you want to take a look at, obviously, is your schedule. So you would ask your um <clears throat> whoever you're working with which is you know whether the other assistant if you're the only assistant that day you know you never know what you're going to walk into when you are temping so when i first came here um to this office before i decided to join the team i would go ahead and um pretty much just ask for the schedule so on and so forth for HIPAA purposes, obviously, I cannot show you guys the schedule, but we do use um, a cloud-based service called Denticon, if you ever used it before. Um, and yeah, so <clears throat> we're going to use uh, the schedule to kind of guide our day. So we have a limited that's this morning, and then we have a ClinCheck verification for someone, and then... Okay, so we just have a kind of like a bunch of limited. We do have a cron prep today, um, but it's not confirmed. So we do have, you know, a couple of cool things on the schedule today. And then I will kind of go over setups as well. So, <clears throat> like, you know, everybody does these day in the life videos of actually like trying to show what they do. And it's just like in like a montage form. I'm going to actually show you guys in like real time as much as possible. <laughs> like how this is actually done. So 
those of you that are new to the channel, I have been in dentistry for almost 11 years and I will have to say that it has been an amazing journey. I love the fact that I have the flexibility now with my career that I'm able to do other things that I enjoy doing and also still be able to work in dental as often as I would like. So now it's down, it's three days and it's spread out, which I really, really enjoy currently right now. So an older schedule, but yeah, essentially what I do is when I come in, I yeah, uh, and I guys I forgot my tripod today. So I'm literally holding up the camera <laughs> Like holding up the camera. So our first patient is a limited like I was saying So generally for a limited you're gonna take a bite wing You're gonna take a PA of the whatever the problem focused area is and then um, in some cases Depending if it's third molars as well, you go ahead and take a panorex. So what you do is you go ahead and grab your little tray and this is, you know, every office is gonna be a little different, but for us, we just kind of keep it simple. So I grab a tray. So we grab our tray there, and then I go ahead and grab a tray liner. Now, y'all probably gonna be like, that office is a little messy. So let me, let me give y'all a quick story. Y'all see all these supplies? A waste. So we have the Itero like I just showed you guys. This is all impression material. Hundreds and hundreds of dollars of impression material and trays that are just absurd amounts that we just don't need in this office. So I'm trying to get as much of these items together and distribute them to the eight other practices that we have um, in our team. So, you know, that's kind of like what I've been working on as well. So I got a basic here. Um, a basic is gonna be a mouth mirror. Um, a probe and um, sometimes a cotton plier or just either either just those two sometimes in additional cases we do have a scaler that's in here you can see that there there's a scaler there yeah and then my, like I said my bite wing and PA that I'm going to use. so you got your rins set up here and then your limited is essentially ready. So you have your x-ray sensor and your barrier in the room for the x-ray sensor. We use Dexis. Um, you know, of course, everybody's gonna use something a little different, of course. So that's pretty much how we set up for limited. And uh, I believe I just had another one as well later on. So, but yeah. Um, Two hours later. Hey, so it's much later. I had just currently finished um, my last patient. So we did a filling. We did um, number three and number four, a MO and a four DO filling. So we went ahead and did that. We actually used the Palinut system there. Not sure if you guys have ever seen that before or used it. Definitely comment below if you guys see anything that you have used in the past or are you, I'm showing you something that you have not seen and you have any questions about it definitely feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to answer in the comments. Um, it's the Palinit Plus system that we were using with the uh, with the Matrix. And then also we have the Palinit 360, which is really, really cool. I like those as well, too. This, those are the, actually the first time I've seen those. Um, super, super cool. So uh, right now I'm about to go ahead and break down my room, clean it up. And I'm going to go ahead and do that for you guys real quick. Um, Definitely make sure you do the spray wipe spray method guys very very important especially after COVID Definitely very very important to do so on this spray wipe spray method All right.
so I made it to the office. I'm here just a little early. And I what I like to do. Oh my goodness. Ooh. What I like to do is I like to just kind of sit here for a minute, you know, kind of get ready for the day. And I feel like if you're gonna temp, please give yourself that time. Because when you walk into an office that you're gonna temp. Uh, you never know what you're gonna walk into. It's like Pandora's box, <laughs> literally. So ensure, guys, if you're gonna temp, you know, make sure you give yourself enough time to get to the office, especially if it's a different side of town that you've never been to, whatever the case is. I know um, a lot, you know, in some cases, most of the time, I've never even been to a certain area of town that they're sending me to. So do your research, you know, um, once you confirm that you're going to temp at an office, look it up on Google, look at reviews. I look at reviews um, just to kind of see what the patients are saying. So I kind of know what I'm walking into, you know, know how the doctor and the team is, uh, you know, just being proactive. So you know what you're getting yourself into so you can mold yourself for that day or how many, many days that you have been there. But me always for me, what I like to do is start off with one shift see how that one shift goes if i enjoy it do i mesh well with the team and kind of go on from there because you can walk into a situation where you think that oh you know i feel like this office is great and then you find out throughout the day that there's either a lot of drama they either you know are not very organized um there's no, stru no structure so those are the things that i do look for when i am temping at different offices it's like in a way they're kind of observing me just like i'm observing them um to kind of see if i'm a fit for them in the future because a lot of the times these offices that need temps they also need staff so they are either going to offer you or or ask if you're going to be looking for employment whatever the case is okay so ensure that you are putting on your best best foot forward you know i've hear so many stories from different offices saying oh we've had a temp came in and they didn't do this or you know so don't don't go into it guys with a mindset of oh, i'm gonna be lazy i don't have to do a lot of work because i know a lot of temps have that mindset because it's kind of like, well, so what? They don't want me back. I can just go to a different office. Definitely don't have that attitude because you never know the type of experience that you may have and they may be able to keep you busy for a while because as a temp, if, if it's slow and you can't get a shift, you're not really making any money. So just kind of think of that. You know, for me, this is kind of like a side thing for me because most majority of you guys that know if you're already existing family member we, you know we we hustle over here so i cut hair you know i i temp now um of course obviously i do social media and i do a couple of other diff different things as well to kind of like keep the income flowing and i do lift as well so i keep myself busy but anytime when i can get an opportunity to to you know work in dentistry and don't get me wrong if they want you to just sit there and take x-rays all day beyond my means sit there and take x-rays all day if they want you yep 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 just sit there and just clean rooms all day and do sterilization don't argue with them if 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 that's if that's how you gonna get it that day go ahead and get it i'm not mad at you because i would be doing the same thing if i went into an office and they didn't want me to do any operative dentistry at all just go ahead and just you know help out here and there gotcha i will definitely do it okay <laughs> So those are the kind of things that I want you guys to kind of look out at and, and, you know, just like I said, put your best foot forward, treat it like if it's your job that day, you work at that office, um, you know, great, give patient satisfaction, great customer service, um, you know, great patient care overall. And if you don't know something, ask questions. You know, there's nothing wrong with asking questions. I heard from a lot of different doctors that they're very happy with someone that comes in that has questions versus someone that just thinks they know something and messes something up that is not me i don't want to mess up anything and like i said if i like that office and it's good and they paying well i definitely want to be able to come back absolutely and i would want them to accept me to come back so it's always good to just you know approach temping with a you know and and this this goes for hygiene or assistant it doesn't matter you know i'm dual i'm both i don't practice hygiene anymore but you know assisting to me is is a breeze i can get in and out there's no obligations hygiene it's a, to me it's just a little bit more complex and i got back issues 
Shoes and all that, and I just I just can't do hygiene anymore. That's just m my personal preference. So yeah, so that that's just for me. But make sure you guys walk in ready to go. You accepted the job. Put your best foot forward, guys. So today, um, when I go in, I want to show you guys uh, some setups. And these setups, you know, I will have to say, it kind of like they're universal. So the doctor that I work with, he is super, super, super um, easy to work with here. He pretty much just does the norm. He doesn't do anything particularly different than I've ever seen, you know, not done you know what i mean like it's pretty much the same you know like for him if he's doing a filling etch bond resin material like it's it's just very simple stuff so i will go over like some setups you know just kind of generalize that if you're new out of school and you're thinking about temping i <clears throat> I will definitely say yes, go for it. If you feel confident enough, at least with taking x-rays um, and at least doing the normal operative dentistry, you know, at least passing instruments, stuff like that. If you don't have a lot of experience and you're just out of school, it, it would be a more challenging for you unless you just are a quick learner. I'm just being honest. If you're just fresh out of school and you're trying to hop into temping, I probably would not recommend that um, just simply because it's definitely a, a big jumping into a situation and and you kind of don't know your way around so you just kind of got to be a little cautious about that for sure so I'm just finishing here sipping my little drink and I'm about to go inside in a minute and um, we'll go over setups and go through my day a little bit and then we're gonna wrap up this vlog i hope you guys are really really enjoying this content i wanted to go ahead and show you guys the raw real deal and tell you guys what is it really like to to work as a temp dental assistant or hygienist um because i have so many questions sometimes from people out in the field and I'm just like, you know what, now I can have like an actual video to refer them to because there are people out there that have been, you know, out from job to job, but they've, they've always wanted to temp and they don't really know what the experience is like. So I'd rather show you guys. It's just unfortunate I can't, you know, just for HIPAA purposes and certain offices and stuff like that, they don't want you to, you know, be whipping out a camera. You know, I don't want to be scaring offices, but at least this one, they're cool with it. And, and I can at least show you guys, you know, the norm. Okay, so we're in the office now. I'm in the sterile area. So I kind of, I don't really care for the lighting in this office. It's really not the greatest. I got that box light, but we're gonna, we're gonna make it work. I wish they had, because they have lights like underneath the cabinets in the rooms. If it had that, kind of give me that effect, you know? But it's cool. You guys can see me. So here are the setups. I wanted to go ahead and show you guys. Um, so this is a restorative setup here. Um, as you guys can see, we got a, uh, uh, articulating forcep, we have some cotton pliers, we have, um, there's a scaler in there, um, it's not definitely required, but if Doc wants it, sure, sometimes they can use them to, you know, get resin off of certain areas or something interproximal, and then we have a spoon excavator, we have... Um, a cord packer and then we have a acorn and um, plastic instrument together so and then we also have our explorer and mirror and of course our anesthetic syringe so you know just um, just normal things now the, the crown prep is necessary necessarily the same the only thing that you're probably missing is going to be um, uh, which is not necessarily relevant for the top one too but you're just kind of adding the uh, packer so yeah the cord packer and then of course pretty much the same things for resin and then of course a stapula um but more actually is kind of more for a crown seat in my opinion unless you are going to be mixing like irm or something like that for your uh temporary cement for your temp but most of the time you're just going to use something in a syringe uh we have I don't think I have any extra ones in here, but the 
temporary cement literally comes in something like this. This is core build up, but kind of the same thing. Kind of the same thing. <clears throat> and then for interproximals, class twos, we have the palinate system, and then we also have these. Um, it's kind of cool. They look like little matrices. They're paladins as well, which is really, really cool. So that's kind of like the setups and stuff like that. And then, of course, like you have your burr blocks. Um, every office is obviously going to be very, very much so different on burrs. But just kind of just to know like your your normal ones, your 557s, your 330s, you know, the normal cutting burrs that docs are going to use and your slow speed burrs um, two through you know, eight, making sure that you understand those slow speed burrs, knowing the sizes for crown burrs, knowing your diamonds, knowing your slim diamond, you know, so your more thicker tapered diamond. So just kind of knowing that off rip. That's why I was like, if you kind of don't have too much experience, don't jump right into temping because it can be a stressful situation if you walk into an office and, and you're all by yourself. If you're all by yourself it's definitely a challenge so keep that in mind guys i just wanted to go over just a couple things with you guys because i know not everyone always does this in their videos so i was like hey eh. but yeah like your diamonds like these uh focus 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 yeah so it's like a <clears throat> pointed diamond there and then you also have like more of a thicker one there so you have your different ones and then of course for occlusions um you're gonna have your football here this is actually a barrel burr i wish it would focus so i could show you guys it won't focus the basics guys the basics so i'm here taking out stuff out of the autoclave look at my schedule and get ready for the day and I will touch base with you guys a little later. Hey, so uh, right now I am working on sterilization. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see that? Yeah. Oops. See? It's about to set me up for failure. So we're about to do some sterilization. I'm about to put instruments in the autoclave that's what i'm going to do right now and then i have literally one more patient to work on guys and that's pretty much it for today it's light friday not complaining um and then i have like an abundance of supplies like i talked about earlier in the week that are just sitting there i need to finish organizing that because a lot of this stuff we're going to send um to other offices that may need that in there stuff because there's a bunch of like impression material that we don't need because we use the itero scanner so we don't use impression material very often i think this week we only did one and that was just because this week had to like it just wasn't gonna work with the scanner so a big old coarse tongue that i dealt with the other day but you know that's why i wanted to give you guys a realistic what a day to day is being a DA or being a temp DA, what it's really like, okay? So, I'm about to go ahead and load up this autoclave and I'm gonna go ahead and get this patient wrapped up for the day and that'll be our week, guys. That'll be our week. I'm excited. Like, it's my first time doing this. It's kind of like really cool and I'm loving the fact that I have an environment that I can do this in. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get that going. I'm not going to 
All right, so we are all done with our week. Uh, I went ahead and clocked out. I'm in the car now, and I'm about to head on to to the next hustle. You already know I, you know, we we, we get it in over here. Dedicated millennial coiner over here, right? So I went to Target earlier <laughs> and decided to be horrible and got me a whole bunch of caramel corn. I cannot wait. It's my favorite. I know y'all probably be like, don't you work in the... I don't care. It ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm off the clock. I can be a hypocrite all y'all want to call me in the comments, whatever. I don't care. But I love me some caramel corn. So, um, I definitely am so excited that I got to do this weekly vlog. Just show you guys literally like what I've been doing for all these years. That's really good. Awesome. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, I'm going to head to go cut some hair. We are starting a new vlog tomorrow. And, you know, this weekend vlog popping. So, if you're new here, hey, hey, hey. Definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button to be a part of the family. I will have lots and lots and lots more dental content coming along with normal content so if you are new here and you don't know too much about me lifestyle day-to-day -day task of being an entrepreneur and we travel we have fun we talk about life experiences we laugh we cry and we just want the best and that's what being a coiner is all about is working in your best full potential that you can always reach transitioning from a nine to five to full-time entrepreneurship so if that floats your boat definitely go ahead and hit that like button that subscribe button and i will catch you guys in the next one i'm gonna sit here and finish eating my popcorn mm. <laughs>